calling in the direction she was looking there were a few little birds alarming we did a drive around we couldn't see the cub you hear that sound she's making that soft soft contact call and Tundi did move a bit close apparently she's lying on a termite mound about a hundred meters away It'll be interesting if Tandy hears these soft contact calls. Oh, there's the cub there. Yes! Look, 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 look at that little cub. Look at the little cub. So that's where that hyena was. That cub must be careful. We might see it run up the tree here. So I'll answer the question now. There's also a herd of elephants not far away. We can hear them. Let's just watch this little moment here. Uh, watch this. Oh no, it went up. Look at that. Oh. Yes, yes. 75 more yeses. Incredibly gross. Looks it actually looks like it's gonna come down the tree. Looks like a little female. Aurora, look, in quite a while, normally the names only come once they start setting up a territory of their own. Wild Earth might do things differently, you never know, with the whole character set up, but typically in areas the leopards will get a name once they start setting up a territory. And it is interesting because Tandi, I believe, is the mother of Kachava. Is that right, Pika? And normally what the female leopards do when their female cubs sort of come of age, they kind of give them a piece of their territory to start out. And as the original mother gets older and older, her territory shrinks and gets smaller and smaller because all of her female offspring end up taking bigger chunks of her territory and that's why it would be really cool if Tandi did turn up it'd be interesting to see the response I don't think they would be that friendly towards each other unfortunately it's not like it would be a big family reunion this, this little cub is so ridiculously cute
Oh, look how easily she just hopped up there. Looks like she's going to go and do a little bit of breakfast time. So it might be interesting to see if she starts feeding and moving that carcass around. You probably find the hyena will run back to the base of the tree in the hope that that it's going to drop some. Yeah, at least there's not too much left, Paul. Um, and at least you know that these two are well fed. So maybe it will be nice for Tundi to arrive and get a little bit of diker neck for breakfast. Ah, that cub's eyes through the green are ridiculous. Look at its eyes when it looks up like that. So that cubs can be quite playful. You might see in an instant it might hop up into the tree and run back up. But I must say I heard such mixed reports on the age of this cub. Yeah, I mean, I, I obviously haven't been here long enough to see who Chava was mating with, to know who the dad is, but it could well be Mluati. Oh uh, yeah, that is 100%. That would make this little stint top draw. I'm presuming her cubs are quite a bit younger than this one. I started licking me. I'm interested to see how sharp the hyena is. Because that is it's hanging quite precariously there. And if she starts pulling it around a bit, it'll definitely make the hyena interested. And if the hyena does come, that cub will shoot up the tree because it uh Oh, you know, we definitely have a run at that cub, that's for sure. And I just keep looking over my shoulder, checking to see if Tundi's on approach, but <clears throat> the guys who left her said she went flat out on a termite mount. How fat the cub's little stomach is. <laughs> yeah, so some of the guys were saying that they thought this cub was, and I mean, I don't know if they'd seen it, 
I don't know how well it's been followed, but people were saying like but over a year, but I don't know, looking at its size, it definitely looks under a year to me. Just maybe between six and eight months. But I'm not sure, so I don't know if anybody out there knows exactly. Pika, <laughs> can you see that piece of meat hanging in there? Like below her, there's just this red piece of like. And uh, no, I'll show you just now. There's like a piece of. I don't know if it's like intestine or something. It just looks a bit grim hanging. Hanging in the breeze. Oh, here comes a hyena. Watch the cub. Look at that hyena. You cheeky rascal. So it didn't take long, hey? The cub very quick to get up and get to safety in the tree. And that's exactly what we thought would happen. This is with the mom starting to feed that sound. <laughs> Look at the hyena staring up longingly for a bit of a bit of breaky. Don't go behind the tree, man. <laughs> the cub is actually growling at the hyena. <laughs> 